Sam. Oh, looking for one with a boom on it. Yeah, and a welder. I don't see it. Maybe he's had a different dice arts. Yeah, here we are. I'm sitting uh, waiting for Joey at the uh, Carmel exit dice arts. It's one busy place. We were supposed to meet Ken here, but uh, no sign of Ken. So I guess uh, we've got the wrong dice arts. But uh, Joey's in getting a bagel or some doggone thing, and and uh, I'm I'm uh, holding down the fort here in the vehicle. So we'll uh, we'll find out. He's he's on the on the computer trying to find out which which dice arts Ken is at. Well, we got out of we got turn dice arts. You got to turn it around. Oh, okay. We we got out of dice arts, and uh, Joey, as you can see, is fueling up him himself. Uh, and we're on the road again. We got the wrong dice arts to meet up with Ken. So we're headed up uh, to the Hampton exit instead of the Carmel exit. Two more tries. There's two so, more dice arts. So uh, hopefully we out. We get the right one this time. I got something to show you that uh, your buddy Joe had me build on the stove plate. Oh, OK. What's up, Ken? Back into the, the Ken, welcome to the channel. <laughs> Thanks. What do you got there? Wow, that looks awesome. That thing's huge. Oh, oh wow. This rigging, yeah, that that's a great rigging. Wow, that is awesome. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That is. That was per request of uh, Eskimo Joe here. Really? Oh, my God. And uh, this, yeah, to, to hang up. hang water or something, anything, anything on. Pot of chili, pot pot of stew. Yeah. Joe's wet boots. Yeah. Oh my God, that is awesome! What a friggin' that is gonna throw out some oh, heat. Yeah. That thing's huge. I don't care how that cold is. it is. You got. Uh, oh my God. Be cold. What a what a nice job. Where the heck did you learn welding? Oh. Uh, I took it in my senior year in high school. Oh, no kidding. Yep. At the vocational school. Yeah. Which now it's my son is taking building construction, and I think there's three or four people in his class. So yeah. it's getting harder and harder to get kids in the trade now. Right, which right. Which is too bad. So. They should be. I mean, that would be the thing instead of regular college. You know. Well, I mean, every kid goes to college, but unless you're the top kid in your class, right? Yeah. You don't get the big office. Right. So, so where did you? Did you work for a welding outfit when you got out of high Just school? As soon as I got out of high school, I built fishing for snow plows for about six years. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, then I've had, you know, various jobs, all welding. Yeah, so right. Welded pretty much my whole adult life, so. Yeah. 48 now, so 20, 20 years. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow, what a nice job this is. Holy shit. <laughs> you got two you got area lifts. on yep. the front. Yep, I don't know how, how much you'll use either one. We're gonna have to get a uh, get a feel for it. But right. I think this is gonna work good. Oh my God. So yeah. what what is that? Tell us about that. Well, it's so, like a, instead of putting a damper up in the, yeah. the chimney, I my brother-in-law made one of these stoves almost identical to this back in 1985, and they're still using it to heat the home, and that's the only heat source they've ever had. Yeah. And so it's based off his his design. Yeah. An idea in. It's, it works. It does. Yeah. It works great, actually. Yeah. So how, how did you cut these letters in? On a... Actually, I had a friend uh, do it on his, he's got a plasma table. Oh, wow. Yep. I was going to do just the letters first. Right. But then I thought, this looked pretty good. That so looks awesome. I, I thought about making the inside white with white heat paint, but I was like, yeah. we won't go too fancy for Donnie. No, that, I, don't, I don't need anything fancy. I think, think we can make... the stove is fancy enough. Oh you think we God. can make donuts on it? probably could it's going to be hard to regulate the temperature of the fat though <laughs> yeah <laughs> but uh yeah we're going to make donuts uh, sunday morning yeah looking forward so. to it and i have a request from my brother-in-law to give us some crab meat 
for a little special lunch there. Excellent. And, uh, if we have any leftover donuts, I bring them home some. Yeah. They're yeah. big fans too. Yeah. It's hard to get leftover donuts. Yeah. But, 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 but it's only this three of us. But they don't. <laughs> they don't taste as good as when they come right out of the fat. That's no, that's, that's, the, that's best. the best. Yeah. Man, look at this rig. Yeah. That is something else. Wow. You can really put a stick of wood in there. It's 30 inches. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's bigger than I was expecting from right. the pictures. Yeah. That thing is huge. Yeah. Of course, get a little bit of rust on it, but I, I brought some touch-up paint so we can. Yeah. Touch we'll rust. burn that rust off. And I like this. I like this ash catch here. Yeah. And then I get the. I like that a lot. The yeah. Piece of stainless down on the bottom too to go underneath it. Yeah. So. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We were talking about. You know, we're putting down a, what is it, a parquet floor, what the... Yeah, whatever that walking... thin stuff mm -hmm. that we were thinking, you know, it isn't down yet, but we were thinking of maybe putting a few strips of it underneath this right. stainless. Yep. And, and then when he puts it down, you know, we'll set them back from the edge of the stainless so we can run the new ones underneath yep. a little bit. Yep. So we won't have to move the stove up or down or take it apart. Yeah, that adjusts, that's two feet, so that adjusts up and down. Oh, wow. Swing it in and out. You can set it down off to the side so you can have your pot over here. So, right. Yeah. Oh, my that's God. That's going to be awesome. And then later on, if you want a rack, we can make a rack go goes right in here that will go from one side to the other. So. Huh. Oh, like inside those uh, yep. angles? Yep. Because oh. you basically, if you put the rack in there, if the rack's working enough, you can set right on not the rack. Right. So. Oh, that... You did a hell of a job. Oh my God. Here we are again. We're in Northern Maine. We're in the town of Ashland and we're heading north. We're heading up to Portage Lake. Then we're gonna turn west and head into the woods and head into our camp. On the docket for this trip is we're really excited because following us is Ken and Ken built us a custom wood stove. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Wait till you see this thing. Yeah, wait till you see it. Absolutely gorgeous. Incredibly functional. It's going to be amazing for our camp. And it's going to be the centerpiece of the camp. It's, it'll be the first thing people talk about when they walk in. And it, it'll be like the gathering area too. And you, you know, probably we're going to have to keep the windows open because that thing is going to heat like a think so. gun. I think it's going to heat like a <laughs> It's yeah. bigger than I expected. Yeah. Yeah. I you can take a two foot stick. Easy. And, uh, and it. 30 it, inch, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. If you pushed it, yeah. Yep. So. so it's really, really quality made. And uh, he's a professional welder and he just did a super, super job. Ken's the best welder I've ever seen of any kind of metal so yeah. you imagine how good he is on on straight steel yeah so he done good but so that's the first part of this trip we bro also brought up a big uh, sheet of stainless to put behind it and protect the wall and kind of fireproof the camp and we also brought up a small sheet of stainless to put under the wood stove we have flooring up here and I have a trailer jammed full again. And this time it has some, the rest of the front porch decking. So we'll be able to finish that. Yeah. We have I two. What happened on that decking anyway? Did somebody <laughs> figure that wrong? Somebody out? definitely figured huh? that wrong. He yeah. Must have, he must have <laughs> added a wrong and done something wrong because we were shot quite a few boards. <laughs> I don't know if he, if he thought we had a smaller deck or what I happened. Know, I don't know what the hell he was thinking. But, but the guy that we went to to figure out <laughs> what we needed. Yeah, did, you see he, this You see this uh, material list that I made up last year has all the material to build a camp. Well, somewhere down here, I messed up on the deck. And, yeah, right there, right 250. There, yeah, hemlock boards. So when we went to pick it up, I think we picked up about 175. Yeah, that sounds know. right. Yeah, yeah, that sounds Instead right. Instead of 250. Yeah. So I don't know what happened, but I just had a, a bad time, I guess. Honestly, what happened was we ran out of time at the mill, so we didn't, we weren't able to mill those 
planking for the deck ourselves. So yeah. we just we just tried to buy it in hunts. Yeah. Now I know darn well if we milled it, we would have milled the right amount. We probably milled extra. Yeah, yeah we would have milled sure. extra. Yeah, because yeah, we we milled my front deck at home out of out of uh, hemlock and it came out awesome, yeah. super strong and. So we ended up buying this one, and I remember when we were there picking the lumber, it was super tough to find two boards that were decent. Yeah. They had some junk on top of junk, on top of junk, on top of junk. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it had been picked through too many times or probably if it was just all so. junk. Yeah, but, probably so. Yeah. But anyway. But anyway, get yep. back to the real story. Here. Yes. So the real story is we have, uh, we have about seven rows left to do with that and then the trailer is chalk block full of doors two doors one interior one exterior and insulation so we got all the insulation we need we got soffit vents we got rafter vents um yeah. that's about it right yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. yeah. so that's the plan yeah. on this trip Ken and Donnie are going to be here for a couple days. They're going to take off sometime Monday. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm weaseling off on Monday with Ken. <laughs> yep. Uh, I got some issues at home I got to attend to, and, but I'll be back up at a later date. For oh sure. yeah, that's for sure. And, All right, we're at the checkpoint. We just got Kenny signed in. His first time ever in the North Main Woods. Yeah. I got to, I got to put my new hat on that uh, Chris showed me that he was was selling. I like yeah, it. I like it. We well, gotta say hi to Chris. He's our favorite North Main Woods. Oh, got the truck out of here. Yeah, it's Chris. You're our favorite. You're our, officially our favorite at the North Main Woods. <laughs> love you guys. Yes, love you. Take care. All right. Oh, she's a full of fun. Yeah, I got my, uh, I got my hug. Every yeah. time I see her, I get a hug. Oh, now. you're the best, Donnie. <laughs> I like that hat. That's pretty nice, though. That is pretty nice. Oh, there's nothing better than coming up and signing into the North Main Woods and getting smiles and hugs and and, uh, and great stories like that. So we always get it here at the checkpoint. And we're, uh, we're heading in. We're pretty excited. We just talked to a couple bird hunters that said that the birds are pretty sparse or unseen. So Kenny's behind us. We warned him his first time in the North Main Woods to look out for the truckers because they own the road and right. they drive like you're not even on the road. So, look at that ground, it's awesome. See it. It's good ground. That hasn't even been back yet. Uh oh. He's stuck. Stuck already? Yep. What's the name of this camp? That's probably good there. We could just put a ramp up here. Are right, you guys waiting for me in there? I'll carry it in. <laughs> okay. Okay, Pat. Longer if Pat was here, uh, it, it, Pat's not here because he's too much of a wimp. <laughs> we got a couple of them, Donnie. Yeah, I got yep. two or three here. You thinking Dolly or? I don't know. We'll muscle hold of it and get it up and see if we can walk with it. Wonder what we got to hold on to on it. I got this nice little shelf on this side. I could put a hand in here. Yeah. But that ain't much to hold on to. No. I can get low on it. Let's see if we can't get it over centered. Okay. Ready? Ready? All right, it is liftable. Yeah, it's, it's not not unmanageable. Oh, yeah, three, I think three is even. And we could like, what do you want to do? Like kind of just a couple inches at a time? Well, let's see if we can get at least a ways, I guess. Do you uh, want to move that other way? Nope. 
Yeah. Here, Donnie. Want me to lift on a Kana? No. 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 Um, do you think... We're just not going to go far, right? You tell me when. Okay. Ready? Okay. I'm up on the box. I might want to get lower. Hold on. Ready? Wait. Yep. yep. Hold on. Hold on. All right. That's not the best way. No. I got to get it just this way, just a little bit more, so I'm not out over the box. Okay. Ready? Yep. I'm ready to go if you are. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's heavy. It's gonna hold the heat. Yeah. <laughs> That'll hold some heat for a little while. I guess it will. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Do you think if we get the rope underneath there, you could pick the rope, make it easier? You could pick lower. Easy. I mean, I can get lower. It's just then you got all the weight and yeah. Set if you down just after that. just inch it. I can inch it all day long. I think the rope might help you though. What do you think, like this? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, Wait, ready? Let me go a little lower. Okay. We'll go another foot and then we'll I'll reposition. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Just caught. Okay, yep, yeah, she's holding for now. Freaking Pat. <laughs> Let me make a, I make a handle on this? You can do anything you want with okay. it. Yep. Then it's not tightening, you know what I mean? Yeah, that thing, we can, whatever you put in it, we can untie. Yeah, there we go. Now I got a handle instead nice. of something that's going to Instead of just grabbing the rope and that could slip, yeah. Huh? Well, it was, I had it wrapped, Yeah. but it was tightening. Watch your step when you get back here. Ready? Yeah. Let me try the back. Oh, I'm good. We'll just go a couple feet at a time. Yeah, like no hurry at all, right? Yep. Ready? Yep. Sarah? Yep. I just gotta see where I'm stepping. Okay. So now, pretty much, I'll pick up. Just have you walk over. Yeah. Well. Kind of kitty cornered, I guess. Uh, can, we ought to put the planks over that, actually. Good idea. Yeah. It's a long ride out if you get hurt. Watch this hole. What's that? <laughs> you still got this hole. Yeah. I think Check that might work, Joe. Yeah, it is metal. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so I'll, we'll just pivot, you pivot. Yep. I'll come around. Yep. Ready? Nope, no, no, let me get the handles. All, All right. right, now I'm ready. ready? On these blocks again. All right, this one's gonna suck for me, but I think we can get it. Yep. You want me to try to lift the corner? No. Oh. Try this. Ready? Yep. There. Look at that. Let's uh, you want to sit over here for now? Yeah. See when you're ready. Yep. Perfect. Beautiful. Hot pot's done. Good idea with that rope. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna bring a small strap, but I didn't think of it. That is awesome. Yeah. Dang. That's a cool stove. <laughs> I love that how the nameplate came out. Yeah. 
That's good. That was totally unexpected. All right, what's the plan now, fellas? Open up one of these. Sure. And that's just to get us the space. Yeah, we'll put something on the floor to underneath that. Uh... Yep. Same nice. Wait till you see this stove pipe made out of gold. <laughs> Cost more than the asbestos. That's crazy. Look at all that. Yeah, we were putting this one in and it come down from there and hit me on the side of the head. Is that what, what hit you? Yeah. Between my ear and shoulder. And didn't smart me up any. <laughs> so there's no short pieces on all I think they're all the same length. Yeah. So should we? Well, we ought to cut them, I guess. Yeah. You know, you're going to run your floor out this way. No, I was going to go the other way. Yeah. But it doesn't matter what we do underneath that. No. Oh. Because it's not going to lock into that anyway. Well, you know, if we cut this back, like, honestly, I don't know what your plans are, but if you did whatever, if you went this way, with one strip, you could have that much done, it would be no cutting and piecing. Yeah. Because you do, you know, strip. Well, actually, Donnie, which way is better on the floor? To me, I would think this way would be, because when you, you step in, instead of stepping in lengthways, I don't know. You know, I was just thinking about, yeah, if it was this way, yeah. it would match up with the door better, rather than have the end grain oh, I see like a sill like that. Do we, yeah. you guys have the door? Yeah, we do. Yeah, I see what you're saying, Donnie. Whatever you think would look better inside, we'll go with it. So if you think it goes better this way, we're going to Which way are you going to run the side? Straight up and down and angled? Side to side. Side to side, side. it'd be the same as that thing. Well, that wall's going to go that way. This wall's going to go through it. Yeah, right. Uh, so whatever Donnie thinks is so the best way to do it. I mean, this is 20 by... 20. Roughly 20 by 20. Yeah. So. Whatever you think, Donnie. What would look better as you walk in? This way? To be this way. Yeah, right? let's do that right. thing. But, well, yeah. it has even, but if you do do it that way, we could run one whole bit of that, then put the stove on, and then you wouldn't have to cut and splice and all that stuff, right? No, we'd have to run it all the way out. Uh, I, I do think we're going to need some more because you figure you get your V match on this, right? And then inch and three quarter. Yeah, off that pulls you to here. And two inches here. Gets you to here. Oh, yeah. So you're only looking at four inches. Right. I'd like to go more. Are you guys going to put propane lights in or anything? Not propane. We're going to put a propane heater in though. LED lights. Yeah, we have to turn on the battery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're going to put a solar panel to charge it back up. Yeah. We're going to try. You can cut it, whatever it is. Just out. Hot water. We got a whole spool of Pencil and kind of mark it out on the floor. Oh, okay, yeah, once we get it in place, we think it needs to be. Actually, should we, we get it over here, kind of sort of, and then we should get the 45s and see where we need to be. Yeah, this wood stove is going to be the, like the centerpiece of the whole camp. Yeah. So you gotta, you got to let me know if you want referrals or not. Oh, I don't, I don't mind at all. Because people got to, there'll be people that are like, right, I got a camp and I want a wood stove. Is that long enough for you? I think so. Ready? Three. Michael, is it too high for you? Pretty high for... Sorry. It's alright. Alright, no, so do we have a tape out or no? I can get it. Yeah, there's I one right here. Okay. I guess so. It's made out of gold. They wrap it for you. Yeah, gift wrap it. It's gold. Two hundred. And twenty-five dollars right here in these pipes. Mm -hmm. I think I might have got the right. Why is it so expensive? I mean, I can only go into like Home Depot buy this. Well, this is double wall or whatever. Oh, double tech, yeah. no seam. <laughs> <laughs> But I've, I've yet to find anything better than Milwaukee. That's what Donnie and I were talking about. Like, it's amazing. Just how, how great the, the tools are. How little problems we've had. Yeah.
Cuts like butter. Does it? Yeah. Yeah, this one, this works so much smoother than yours. The trigger works. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem I've ever had with a Milwaukee product is my jigsaw. The trigger's like, the trigger's uh, definitely a, um, a state worker. Yeah. Some days it works, some right. days it just leans. Yeah, some days stands it and doesn't. leans. Most of the time it doesn't. But no offense state workers yeah. i am fired up this yeah, is as, right. this is as excited as i've been on this entire project to be honest with you um ken's here he's i mean he's just crushing it right now <laughs> we're gonna get this set to the right height the wood stove we're gonna square it up and then door so we can get some light and in then here. at some point today he promises you we're gonna have this thing rolling rolling fire at you making some heat this thing is exactly 37 and a quarter. If this was square, this would be 16 off. Do you want to try to square it up with that wall first? Yep. We're going to get this right out of the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, because otherwise we won't be, it'll, right. Right. You're going to okay. come here and probably mark it and all that stuff, so let's do it right. All right, so we're just going to set it over to the left, okay? Yep. 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 Yeah, yeah, we need to put the steel on it. There you go. Um, so th that's close enough. That doesn't matter. That's close enough. Great. So Donnie, you're close enough. All right. This is the one that we need square off the wall. Right. So after we lay this, we'll double check it. Yeah. Guess we can lay that, right? Yeah, I would assume. Yeah. Are you ready? Yep. Now we just go back towards you. Yeah, we can catch more if you want. No, I think that's fine. And then down here we're catching right most of that, right? We kind of want to catch all that if we can. Now that's about it. So we can cheat it up. I would cheat a little bit on this, and then maybe a little bit on this. But we cheat on every one of these. Yeah. I guess we could, we'll start, maybe I can drill some holes and put some screws in that where we want it. Yep. And then we'll just we'll bump the other one up just a little bit. Yep. Drill it. Yep. And just it way up. Yep. This is where you like it? Uh, yeah. I, th I think so. Mark, where is it? Did you see the mark? If you don't see the mark, we're above it, which we're, is good. We're right there, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's right on it. See it? Yeah. Is this sand up the code? It had to, it had to meet the, uh... Why ain't that thing sharp? It had to meet the Wow, code. it looks like silica sand. Yeah. That thing's sharp. Recycled glass. It is, Donnie. Yeah. It's, is it? It's recycled glass. Yeah. Wow. That keeps the heat down from going down below. And yes. Yeah. Yes. And the heat uh, won't go to the bottom. Yeah. You bring a little vacuum cleaner, Joe? Yeah. I got two. Okay, good. Now Where do you one. buy that? I got this right from work. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Stu Weatherhead said he used when he built chimneys. If he thought the people were not going to pay him, <laughs> he would take a piece of cardboard at the very top of the courses of brick. Yeah. He'd put a piece of cardboard across. So when they started a fire, it would, it would smoke up the house, of course. <laughs> so <laughs> they would have him come back and say, Jesus. This, this chimney isn't working right. It smokes up the house. And he says, well, you give me some money and I'll fix it. So he'd get his money and he'd go up and take the cardboard out. Drop a rock to him. Yeah. 
I wish we'd have got the easy chair in the in the uh, trailer. Because I can see you up here this week. Yeah, no kidding. Just sitting in an easy chair with this fire going. You're not nice kidding. and warm in here. Yeah. Did you guys leave any cardboard at the top of this one? <laughs> I don't think so. We gotta call I, don't what, I don't know what Brandon did up there. But... That's drawing good. Yeah. The first fire, Kenneth. The first fire, yep. We'll be warm tonight. Pretty damn good. That paint's probably going to stink us out for a little bit. Yeah. The kiln's good, right? Things are moving in all the pipes up above. They're all expanding. Well guys, if that doesn't get you excited, because I am pretty pumped right now. First fire ever out of many. And the fire, that wood stove's the whole key to the entire camp. Yeah, she's smoking. Not too bad. A little bit of heat coming out of it, but not much. So pretty, pretty, pretty awesome for your, uh, that wood stove, because this is going to be used by me mostly in the winter, snowmobile and ice fishing, antler hunting, uh, deer hunting, moose hunting, and a big part of that is going to be able to get some heat up here in the wilderness, and this man right here is the man that made it happen. <laughs> Want a couple pieces of hardwood, or? Um, or that's pretty good fire. I'd say that's quite a fire. Plenty of room for more. Yeah, that's the that's the beauty of it. It's drafting nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's wicked, yeah. We'll let that turn down. Get some stainless. Some kind of wear rods so they'll track mm -hmm. straight. It would be probably pretty handy. Like this too much? Nope. Let it burn. This is now this time to get that paint baked right on. We can always go outside if we get too hot. <laughs> I don't think it'll get too hot in here with no with, with the way we got it yeah. buttoned button up. I bet though if that we close that door and put something over that tonight. Oh, you know, we'll, we'll have a door. Put that door in tonight. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a door for you. I don't need it. I, I can take it out. Well, guys, it's uh, the guys are complaining. I won't give them a break. Well, we're not only complaining, <laughs> we're rebelling. <laughs> so it's it's snack time. Oh, <laughs> Ken, what are we digging into over here? It looks pretty good. I got these at the local fish market. Smoked mm. mussels, chipotle. So they got just a little bit of a kick to it. From Stonington. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's where they're made. Yep. They are some good. Mm -hmm. You drive a few of them into Donnie, you'll know what's good for you. Yeah. We gotta drive some water into you. I got I got you took one sip. That's what they call them. I find <laughs> I find no bottle. I find Gatorades everywhere with one sip out of them. <laughs> Worse than the kids. Mm -hmm. I used to get so busy working. Mm -hmm. Man, those are good. Mm. Very good. Some kind of oil they put it in. Yeah, so good. Olive oil, probably. Yeah. Well, guys, the stove is in and it's cranking right now. We're just we're burning the paint off the the pipe and the sto and the stove and kind of feeling it out right now. We're throwing a couple logs in every every 20 minutes or so, and we're gonna bring in all the insulation. We got rock wool, which I've never used before. <coughs> um, all my contractor friends. And carpenter friends say, don't use the glass insulation. Use this stuff. It's a hundred times better. The mice hate it. 
and it's easier to work with and it's better stuff i guess so that's what we got we got the r15 for the walls we got r23 that we've already carried inside for the ceiling we had this trailer just jam-packed no room at all but we had to get it out of the way so we could get to donnie's tools and get this door our exterior door it's getting cold you can see my breath right yeah, now yeah, yeah it's definitely a it's, change it's gonna be a chilly night yeah yep ken's gonna enjoy that fire tonight I'll keep it going dry. I have a feeling that I only got two more nights in my tent. Yeah. It's tonight and tomorrow night, and then I'm out of there. I'm folding up the home. tent, bringing it home, and I'm going to sleep in the new camp. <laughs> How long has that tent been set up? Jeez, when did we set that up? A month ago. Yeah. Well, over a month ago. Before the hurricane. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow, those are so good. Those are something you can't stop eating. No, we're going to eat them till they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> they're good. Mm. So what do you think of our wall tent? Pretty good setup, huh? <laughs> it is. A lot of room, actually. It was the flattest piece of ground we could get, and we, we flattened it out even more. It'd be ideal to put on the ice sometime. Yeah. We got no wind yeah. to speak of. Yeah, before COVID, we went hunting in it for mm -hmm. a week with snow on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's when Stevie was with you, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they must have got a lot of water down through here because that, <laughs> yeah. that rug is saturated. I think it poured by the looks of these leaves in every crack. But our place stayed dry, high and dry. Mm -hmm. It is high. We like, we like doing that. Yep. Get air underneath it. If you have to crawl under it to jack or do anything, why? It's up there. Plus the slope of the ground, you know, obviously had something to do with it too. Yeah. But you wouldn't believe how many loads of shale and... I, I remember watching the videos, it was... Oh my gosh. That and the challenges. It, it, yeah. Brandon's truck was ball tires trying to call that dump trailer. <laughs> <laughs> then they forgot to put it in four-wheel drive. Yeah. And they, yeah, they were here an hour. Yeah, they then they put it in four-wheel drive. going back and forgot to put it in four-wheel drive. <laughs> Donnie, you look pretty comfortable over there. I mean, you look pretty comfortable over by the wood stove. Yeah, Eating sure crab meat like a king. Boy. That's for the house of heat. Mm -hmm. Our gas was cooking for us. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> that doesn't yeah, it doesn't, does it? No. He makes the stove. Mm -hmm. Brings it up, helps set it up, mm -hmm. and he has to do our cooking. Wow, something's wrong with this picture. <laughs> I know how we got mixed up on the door. Oh. Well, I give you the measurements, like two eight, I mean two foot eight inches. And I said three oh, three oh six eight. Yeah. So you took it as a third. Oh, inch, that's exactly it, what I did. Instead of a three foot. I'm so used to saying that. Well, what would that one? What did you get? Twenty eight. Yeah, the poor wrong. <laughs> a two eight. I yeah, mean, two foot eight. I wrote down two eight. Six eight. Six eight. Wow. So you wanted a, I wanted a 32. Yeah. And you got a 28. A 28 too freaking small. Kind of small, really. I had to work hard to find this a 30 and a 28. I know. There I mean, aren't I'm many. I'm surprised of them. you could even find a 30 inch exterior door. Yeah. 